जय माता दी गाइस सेकेंड लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक्स आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट कैलविन प्लैंक आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू वर्क टॉक अबाउट क्लॉसियस डेफिनेशन आपको स्लाइड में मिल जाएगी मैं सिर्फ सिंपली आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हीट इंजन हीट पंप्स रेफ्रिजरेटर इन द बेसिक्स व्हाट इज कोफिशियंट ऑफ परफॉर्मेंस एंड व्हाट डज हायर कोफिशियंट ऑफ परफॉर्मेंस मीन नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू क्लियर नॉट जस्ट दी कॉन्सेप्ट्स बट ऑल दी वाइज आर गोइंग टू बी आंसर्ड ओवर हियर सो द मोमेंट सर इंटरव्यूअर आस्क यू यू नीड टू नो ऑल दी आंसर्स एंड दोस विल गेट ओवर हियर सपोज आई टॉक अबाउट हीट इंजन इंजन की बात कर रहा हूं यार तो राइट नाउ इमेजिन योरसेल्फ इन अ स्टीम इंजन व्हाट यू डू इज यू गिव इट अ लॉट ऑफ हीट and finally you get a work right so over here i have got source t2 high temperature heat is given to the engine engine does some work some mechanical work is done w and a little bit heat now what is this q1 trust me guys this is the exhaust that i am talking about out here right this q1 goes out and to the sink over here agar main steam locomotive ki baat karu then it can be the atmosphere as well right clear so what is coefficient of performance guys definition please understand desired output upon work input desired output upon work input this you have to remember very important output kya hai aur input kya hai what is the input input is q2 and what is the desired output that is w because engine mein aapko dekhna how much work you are doing This is the W, which is Q2 minus Q1. So coefficient of performance is W upon Q2, Q2 minus Q1, Q2, which is 1 minus Q1 upon Q2. So it will always be less than one. That is why steam engines can do it is less than one. It is 16 percent, 18 percent, and IC engines will go up to 36, 42 percent. Heat engine. Simplified, clear. Coefficient of performance less than one. We are giving heat and we need to move the engine, right? Clear? Heat pump. In normal cases, we always know that heat is transferred from higher temperature to lower temperature. This is at 100 degrees. This is at zero degrees. Slowly, slowly, this will reduce temperature. It will increase temperature. Both will come at thermal equilibrium. But heat pump. They say if you do mechanical work, then in that case you can. Uh, Transfer heat from a lower temperature to a higher temperature. Source was at higher temperature. Sink was at lower temperature. I did some work. Heat pump, electrical energy, the कुछ भी रहा. I did some work. Pump मैंने. What happened? Heat was transferred from here to here. Right? So what is the desired output? Q2. What is the work input? This is W. This is the work input, right? So how much is coefficient of performance? Q2 upon Q2 minus Q1. By your sole purpose was to heat this to give it temperature. This is given by this Q2. So this is the desired output. Desired input is after you started running the pump. W. So Q2 upon W. Q2 upon Q2 minus Q1. It will always be greater than one. Coefficient of performance. So the sir interviewer can ask you, okay? Which device has got coefficient of performance less than one or greater than one? You need to know the answer. And if you are able to explain in such a way, I think so. He should be happy. But basic concepts clear on chain. Similarly, let's talk about refrigerator. Refrigerator में क्या करते हैं भाई? We cool the food, right? We reduce the temperature. So heat pump and refrigerator लगभग similar. The only difference is over here. Okay, I'll start about the difference. This is the food. Say it was at temperature twenty degrees centigrade. Now I am taking further heat from it so that I can bring it to ten degrees centigrade. This it is taken by the refrigerator. The compressor is running behind, so work W is being done, and the excessive heat is being given to the atmosphere over here. Right. So now in this case, what is the work input? Desired out desired output that is work done over here because the work done was cooling the food which was required. So coefficient of performance is desired output is this Q1, and what is the work input again W, which is Q2 minus Q1, and if you see this can be greater than one, this can be less than one, this can be equal to one. This is what is refrigerator. 
Uh, dear students, I will explain refrigerator once again because it might be a bit confusing because both are linked together. See, over here in refrigerator, what I want to do is I want to cool the food. I want to reduce the temperature. So desired output is to reduce the temperature. That is why it is Q1. Copy. Work input is again over here W, which is Q2 minus Q1. So coefficient of performance is Q1 upon Q2 minus Q1. Clear? Copy. Now we have talked about coefficient of performance. We have talked about heat engine, heat pump, refrigerator. We have talked about COP. But again, sir, ये इतनी calculation. Why is this COP important? What do you mean by coefficient of performance, sir? Guys, everything is money related to money. Higher COP means higher efficiency. Higher efficiency means lesser operating cost. If your coefficient of performance is more, that means your engine has got very good efficiency. So less operating cost. Suppose on a steam engine you have to go from Dehradun to Delhi. In one case, if your coefficient of performance is say 0.3, you might require 10 tons of coal. And if your coefficient of performance is 0.8, you might just require one ton of coal. So you are saving money on coal and that is what operating cost is. So always you want coefficient of performance should be as high as possible. Copy it. Remember that. Thank you very much. Jai Mataji. More than sufficient.